Hello everyone, it is Carol from Lily Rose Blue, and here we have Astrid, and we have Amber, we have Asa, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> my mind, and now we have two votes for Alvin, two votes for Adam, so we need a tiebreaker. Somebody who hasn't already voted, please, please vote. <laughs> and we have two votes for oh April and oh gosh, my mind just went blank. There was Ariel. I was thinking there was a tie. But I may be wrong. I'm, I, oh shoot. We'll see. Sorry. I got a reset. My mind just went blank. I thought for sure that there were, there was a tie for both of these. Hmm. I may end up, I'll see what kind of comments I get today. I may end up throwing. Alvin and Adam, um, you know, in a in a cup, those names in a cup, and drawing to finally decide. Um, April and I know there was Ariel, but there was another A name. Anyway, I'll figure it out. Now I'm embarrassed because I got on camera and I can't remember. I had it all set too. Oh goodness. Oh goodness, guys. So I am filming this on Sunday, November 5th. Um, I'm going to be filming a variety of videos today. Um, I'm going to start with um, some purchases I made at my scrapbook store called Scrap Mania. That's in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. You can shop on online and they will ship. They're happy to ship. Um, I'm gonna, so I have, because I cleaned, I can see my floor, guys. Yay! I can see my floor. I still have some reorganizing to do yet, but I can see my floor. It is a miracle. <laughs> it feels like a miracle. Oh, it, it feels like a miracle. Um, you know, we'll see. I got to keep it picked up now. Um, when I get it organized and honestly, the way I'm organizing is twofold. One is I'm just moving some stuff out of this room. Um, I will show you the huge bins that I purchased, um, and how I organize that as soon as I'm done with that, just in case you're interested. Then um, I, yeah, then I just need to like, I've got wallpaper in two places. I've got, oh, there were some other things. I had paint chips in two places. So I have those together. Um, you know, it's what happens. You don't remember that you had a place for something. You get something in addition, like more paint chips. And then you're like, I know I have paint chips someplace, but do you think I could find them? No. So that kind of stuff is was just driving me crazy. Plus the fact that I couldn't walk and I got hurt in my craft room. That's just ridiculous. I shouldn't have let it go that long. So the first thing I showed you is just something that I thought was hilarious and just fun. So I ordered a t-shirt. There is a company and it is actually an Iowa company. Um, I think they will print for, for anyone. It's called Raygun, R-A-Y-G-U-N. So they also have a website and they have some, it's mostly Iowa centric, mostly. Mostly, not totally, but mostly. 
but then they do printing for organizations. And so I ordered a t-shirt um, that is about public health because that's what I work in. Um, and it was three ray gun and the t-shirt came in this envelope, words on a shipping envelope. That's what it says. And that's the kind of ironic t-shirts that this company makes. So um, I just thought I'd show it to you. My husband thought it was fabulous. Um, and this came from Des Moines. So there's that. Then I went to Scrap Mania because I, I don't know about you guys, but I have these moments where I just need, I need that tactile experience of shopping, not just shopping online. That's fun too. Don't get me wrong. Um, I went to two places yesterday, Scrap Mania and that Create Exchange place that I've talked about, not really thinking that I was going to purchase any. I mean, honestly, I was going for the shopping experience. Yeah, that didn't happen. <clears throat> yeah, I spent money that I did not intend to spend, but I've got a plan and I, I guess got to do it. You guys keep me honest. So the first thing I got was just this roll of, um, of, uh, foam dots. I just go through them like wildfire. And again, when I first went in, I was going into shop and this was one of the first things I saw and I'm like, yeah, I'll get that. I need to get something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look. So anyway, foam dots. Then I got... Sorry. I think I'm going to move... I'm going to move this. I found this. So look. Baking spirits bright how clever is that and you can see it's got these index tabs about christmas dishes you know or christmas recipes uh-huh there you go and then they have these additional index cards i thought you know what that is a three quarters or a, a half made junk journal Christmas junk journal, right? Holes are already punched. Okay, cool. So I got that. And of course it has accessories. So here is the paper. Let's open this. Uh, hang on. I should have done this before I got online. Here is the paper. I'm going to make sure I'm still, yeah, I'm still in frame. So baking Christmas cheer, and then look at the back. It's actually kind of upside down, isn't it? That's interesting. Oh, did they print that wrong? No, I guess it's right. Isn't this fun? And you've got gingerbread people. Some lovely pattern paper. And then this says, it's beginning to taste a lot like Christmas. More patterned paper. We whisk you a Merry Christmas. Honestly, how clever is this? Some other lovely pattern paper. Look at this. Love it. Gingerbread Kisses and Christmas Wishes. Do you guys like gingerbread? I am not a huge gingerbread fan. That's just me. My husband loves ginger snaps. My oldest daughter loves ginger snaps. And I know it's not quite the same thing, but um, 
it's that is not the first, second, third, fourth, or eighth thing I'm going to reach for if there's other options. And look at this. The houses and the, the church and the post office, which, of course, that's dear to my heart because of my dad. And again, gingerbread kiss is so sweet. Hello, dear. You know how I love my dear. My husband has named the deer. And of course, we have mama deer and oh, dear. And I think he has hello, dear, as well. Yeah, you know, the little things we do. Look at this cute mouse. It says snow fun. Baking Christmas cheer. Here we go. Now it's repeating. So there's that. There are these lovely ephemera pieces. And I will open these up. Actually, I'm going to show you this next. Here are recipe cards. I'm going to come in a little bit. Come on. Come on. There we go. Look at these recipe cards. And they have lines on the back. Those. I love them. Aren't these just... Love that house. I just love that house. Very fun. Oh, and this one has something different on the back. I thought, I guess I assumed. Okay, now we got to look on the back. Oh, fun. That's very pretty. That's cute. I just assumed since the one was blank on the back that the rest of them would be, but that's what you get for assuming. All right, so how fun would these be in pockets or as pockets? Mm, maybe you wouldn't want to make them as pockets. Never mind, because you'd want them to be able to be used front and back. Then there were um, these ephemera pieces. Now this is from a different company but the colors coordinated pretty well. So I went ahead and, and got these. If you can see what they are. Um, these say Merry Christmas, A Wonderful Life, Holiday Wishes, It's Tree Time, Holiday Traditions, Not of Your Nice, Ho Ho Ho, Merry and Bright, Christmas time, holly jolly, good cheer, filled with joy, magical, hello Santa. And then winter time, wonderful, under the tree, Santa Claus. Ho, 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 love this, this time, December 25th, be merry and jingle. So, whoops, sorry, I was getting those too close. So that's that. Again, not from the same company, but the color the colors coordinate. Now here's the ephemera. So those are stars. They're just gonna be upside down. Then you've got that. Knitting knitting needles and yarn. Christmas wishes, a pie, a star, the cute truck with a tree, a Christmas stocking, a package that flipped over. Here's your baking pin, rolling pin, a tree, another tree, a, a pot candy, and cupcake, all super cute, um, 
that says baking spirits bright jar of jam a cute chair look at the mouse oh look angela look at that cute mouse cake cake on a cake stand uh that's just a table i guess with picture of santa looks like flannel snowman another stocking look at this cute spatula mixing bowl hot chocolate another tree so cozy mrs claus's kitchen here's your vintage stove isn't that wonderful oh so cute star milk and cookies a wooden spoon and a mitten a holly jolly a package more hot chocolate letters to santa a sleigh a snow globe a whisk oh these are so cute there's my house that i love a piece of pie a rocking chair with a lovely cozy blanket on it uh oh Dear, looks like Rudolph because it's got a red nose. We have a piping bag and, and a star and holly. These are sticking to me. There's your gingerbread people on a baking sheet with a spatula. Merry and bright. Here's your apron. That is super cute too. More stars, of course, and then peace, love, and joy. How cute. How cute are these ephemera pieces? And then I got some cardstock to match the colors um, in, in the designer paper, so to speak. So on this side, it's polka dots. On that side, it's a stripe. And then look at this lovely, this is from Doodlebug. <clears throat> they do a great job with, um, like they pick their colors years ago and they've stuck with them. So if you um, worked on a layout or a project with Doodlebug paper 10 years ago, the, it's going to match today, which is, I so appreciate it. Their albums match their colors. It's it's a fun line. Now, it's a whimsical line, by and large. Um, um, but that's okay. That That's okay. You know, it depends on what you want to do in the project you're working on. So this is what it looks like on this one side, which I love. And then you have this wood grain look on the other side. So that's what I got for this kit. And it is my goal to whip up this junk journal. Uh -huh. I, I've, I've got to do it. I've, I've just got to do it. Because now I've invested money, right? So I need to do it. So that was that Christmas line. And then I got... So this is... Um, I've mentioned this and shown you, I'm going to, whoops, sorry guys, go out just a little bit and I probably ended up right where I was to start with. I hate it when I do that. Um, this Mente uh, paper line or company um, is out of Poland, um, but they, um, and they just do wonderful things so we're gonna look and I appreciate they're not even wasting their cover you know they've 
they've got something here on the back, which I love, or um, another hint. Now, unfortunately, I wish they wouldn't have done that. Usually, Scrap Mania is pretty good about that. Um, you know, you could cut out these different um, sections and, you know, make a make a adhesive strip or snip it strip with paper. Um, you could collage. You can do all kinds of things. It just depends if you want that image or you want that image. And this is just a lovely brick. And then you've got, you know, just a subtle design. And here you've got dishes. I should have said, I my apologies, this line is called Nana's Kitchen. The grain and the tile. Look at the, you know, the ledger. I'm going to call it ledger paper. It's not ledger paper. It's the paper that, you know, you used in school to practice your handwriting. Let's look at this. There's more tile. Graph paper. I love the colors in this. I think this is beautiful. Then you've got your spoon and fork and knife, your silverware. And then here's some cutouts. Again, this is Nana's Kitchen. Look at that old-fashioned scale. Here's a ledger book, I'm going to say, in these pictures. And I just loved it. Saucepan. Then you've got this page. Um, again, a page that you could use like this. That's not the intent, but you could use it. Um, look at the cupboards. Look at that. Isn't it? It's not a china cabinet per se. I'm going to call it a cupboard. Rustic or vintage cupboard. And now we're back to the same designs again. And, uh-huh. Yeah, I did it. I did it. I've got two packages of ephemera. Um... Let's see here we go it's not glaring too bad you can kind of see what's in that I may open it up I'm and then these pieces so again these are envelopes you've got tickets you've got tags and some circle elements Round tags, I guess, is what they're calling it. And that I don't think showed very well, so I may just go ahead and open this. And again, you could use this. So that's, that's my tip for the day. Don't forget to use your packaging. Um, it make sure paper pack go even farther. So here we have our some round tags. There's a tag. Another tag. There's a piece of ephemera. Another tag. Or ticket. This is more ticket-like. I guess that goes with that. There's some tickets, another ticket, a round tag, there's a bigger tag, those are fun, there's another round tag, round decor decorative element, a ticket, Another, ah, that might be my fave. Oops, I was putting this, oh gosh, goodness, I thought I was in, 
in frame. All right, and I'm going to have to pick up some of these so you can see. There's another ticket. And then here are the envelopes. There's an envelope. There's one. Oh, and then I guess they're front and back. So sorry, here's this first one. And that's the inside. This one is this kind of the same on both sides. Here's the silverware one. A smaller envelope. So they all have that same kind of notebook paper, that same look on the inside. So that is that. And I'm going to open up. I am going to open this up. Again, use your packaging. Okay. I'm just, I might just spread this out a little bit. What is that? Oh, dish towels, I think. Oh, yeah. There's some pretty floral elements. Here's your, your knife. And your ledger book, some hearts, flowers. Look at that egg carton oh, with the chicken. Oh my gosh. I mean, they're all super cute, but look at him. I don't think I'm focused very well. Here's your pot. Here's some dishes. Some heart. There's your rolling pin. More dishes. Here's your fork. Oh my gosh, these hearts are great too. Whoops. It's your coffee, old fashioned coffee grinder. Look at that cake. Cake plate and cake dome. Oh my gosh. I am glad I opened this to show you. It's like a soup terrain, maybe. Some more. Look at that enamel picture. Look at this cupboard. Again, another tea kettle. Another ledger, only it's bigger. Here's the other one. So that's interesting that they do that, I think. Another cupboard. There's that scale, which I also absolutely love. Here's another cake plate. There's your spoon, hearts. Um, some more plates. Flowers, heart. Another tea kettle only. This one's copper. There's this another pitcher, cup, and a heart. I, it's, you, you got the idea there. This looks like another soup tureen. Yeah, there's another grinder. There's another rolling pin. So yeah, there's some, looks like some repeats in here, but that's okay. That's all right. And then I got, these papers to coordinate with, oh, that's dirty. Hopefully my eraser will take that off. That's interesting. Hmm, okay. So that coordinates with that. And then as a free gift, not only one, but one, two, six. I don't, I don't think they were supposed to give me this many. Six sheets. This is a different line. Um, this is, it's just called bonus sheet, not for resale. So this is, must be something that they provide to, for retailers. Um, beautiful. Birds and birdhouses and flowers and hearts. It's great. It, the colors kind of match with this one just by happenstance. So why not? And then that is the back. 
Now the, the back doesn't match as well because this is more of a true, true pink where this is a bit more mauve -y. I made a new word, mauve right? I mean, it could work, but I'm just saying it's not quite the same shade of pink. So I got six of those. Um, I don't think I need six of those. <laughs> that may be coming to somebody in Happy Mail some someday, or, right? Oh, and then I forgot, I also got these um, acry acrylic bubbles. Um, some companies used to call them dew drops, and I have some, but I just, I wanted the 3, 3D um, dimension. I have a lot of, I have a lot. I have a whole huge thing of um, enamel dots. And I love enamel dots. Don't get me wrong. I love them. But sometimes you just want something a little different. So that is, I got these to go with that Minte line. And then I got these to go with um, the Christmas stuff that I got. Plus, it's blue. I think you can hardly see that blue. Hang on. I need something more white-ish. Um, <laughs> okay. You would think this, this isn't quite white, but there you go. You get the idea. There's the blue shade. And then I got red. I had a darker blue already in my um, shopping cart. Uh, and again, I'm thinking red and blue for cookbook journals, farm journals. This red could also go for my strawberry journal. Um, but the darker blue did not match the blue in that Christmas line. So I got this color instead, but you know, I can always go back and get that darker blue color. I mean, because it's dark blue is very versatile, right? And whatever you're doing. So that was my purchase from yesterday at um, Scrap Mania in Cedar Rapids. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hit like, hit subscribe, comment. I love your comments. Um, let me know what you thought about these two lines and also hold me accountable to make journals out of these. I may have to do a pause and uh, not may, I will have to do a pause on my strawberry journal so that I can get this Christmas journal whipped up, um, and hopefully out there for sale. That would be my ultimate goal. Um, anyway, we'll see. And then I want to make a junk journal for this out of this line as well and put that up for sale. Again, that, that is my plan. Um, thanks again for watching. And as always, stay safe, have fun, take care slash stay healthy, and God bless. Thank you again. Bye-bye.